Okay, this is a video of the new U.S. Navy FFGX. It's made by Fincanarti Martinetti Marina and uh, it will be built in the United States and it will be built it's about a 7600 ton ship so it's a large frigate and uh, it will be built with US weapons principally but not all and uh, US electronics particularly uh, a smaller version of the Aegis system that will be able to work with the Aegis systems of the Burks and the Ticonderogas, etc. Now, I'm going to show you a finished one of these in a moment. This small 57 millimeter gun, uh, the place for the missiles, these uh, 16 anti shipping missiles, which will be Norwegian uh, naval strike missiles, and uh, the RAM missile, missile launcher, as well as a few other things, the, the, the ship's boats and uh, cranes and some of the electronics will all be taken off. And uh, they're going to be taken off because uh, I have other uh, parts to replace them and this are much more detailed. So let me just get the actual ship itself and put it up so that you can see what this ship looks like when it's completed. So there we go. I bought two. When they get done, I'll do another one of these videos with the ship uh, in conjunction with a naval group, a carrier strike group. And as you can see, I've got the 50 caliber machine guns the 32 missile uh, ML, you know, the VLS. You've got the full outlay on the the railing and whatnot. These are the NSM missiles, 16 of them, which is going to make this a very powerful ship. Uh, the countermeasures and whatnot with more 50 caliber machine guns. Back here towards the back, I put in a couple of 35 millimeter automated cannons, which ultimately will be replaced by uh, 35 millimeter, at least, uh, rail guns. And then, of course, the RAM missile launcher. Uh, there also is a U.S. Navy Seahawk helicopter there. You can see U.S. Navy. Uh, the hangar will hold up to two of those. And uh, the ship is made... Uh, so that it can be an escort to carriers. And it's really made because the uh, littoral combat ships that were built were not really up to muster. Those were designed just before and during the Obama administration and then kept being changed and really uh, came up with designs that were lacking. They had this great idea that they could automate them, make them very fast, and for some reason they had no uh, large uh, anti-shipping missiles on them and therefore became vulnerable. Uh, I'll show you two of those with this ship. Here is a freedom version of that ship. It's very fast, very vulnerable, I mean very maneuverable. Uh, it's got 24 Hellfire missiles, vertical launch, same 57 millimeter gun, but its lack of weapons has now called for them either having, well actually having naval strike missiles added to some number of them that we don't know as of yet. The other one is the independence version of that ship. To, port, to date, 15 of the independence version have been built and launched, and 12 of the Freedom 
class have been launched so that's uh, quite a few ships uh, you know 29 ships uh, I believe they're going to end up doing 35 and some number of them will have uh, six missiles and some upgraded armor now let me take those out of the picture they are much smaller uh, displacing anywhere from you know 3,500 to 4,000 tons but this ship this new ship is meant to run with these dogs and that's Burke flight 2a you can see it's a larger ship carries 96 missiles carries a 5-inch gun uh, and a full AGS outlet, you know, sensor package. But the Aegis that the FFGX will carry will allow that ship not only to help with its 32 VLS uh, guard the fleet, particularly the carriers, but will allow it to uh, do a number of other things with the 16 naval strike missiles it probably will not have any more missiles added for uh, anti-shipping although they could easily add eight more long-range anti-shipping missiles but I suspect that eight of those 32 missiles will be ESSM which means there'll be 32 of them in there and then they'll have 20 to 24 standard missiles which allows it to provide coverage uh, either for other surface combatants or to add its coverage to the uh, coverage of the Burks. Right now the plan is to build 20 of those. They, they've got 10 under contract and then they'll build 10 more. I'd like to see 30 of them. Uh, this is uh, the Italian Frim frigate which is a, an, an excellent vessel and uh, building it out with U.S. missiles and whatnot means and U.S. Uh, and the Norwegian missiles. You can see some of the details I put in there. Let's see if we can get that. You know, we've got the ladder up the back. We've got the full rigging and sensor suite on the main mast. We've got... Uh, the uh, buoys for the life buoys and of course the helicopter now when I get that this other one here let me put it up there when I get that one built I'll do another film that will include two Burks an aircraft carrier probably the Ronald Reagan that I have built out and uh, you know, the entire fleet. I could also uh, perhaps do one with the LHA or LA, LHD7 Iwo Jima, which I have built out to be a F-35B escort carrier. But as it is, there you have it. This is, as you can see on there, FFG-80. That will be the actual pennant number of the first one. And I believe it will be called the USS Brook. Uh, the Brook class was the first FFG class that we put in service after World War II uh, in the early 50s to mid 50s. And uh, so naming it after that class is appropriate because this is the first real frigate that we've had since the Oliver Hazard class Perry ships. And uh, these will be very, very strong frigates. Uh, it's got the size and armament of most countries, uh, oops, excuse me, most countries uh, destroyers. And uh, it will, in fact, uh, allow the United States Navy to have a strong frigate force in place. And I hope 
over the years they build, like I said, more than the 20. We know that they're going to, after the Flight 3 Burks, they're already considering a Flight 4 Burk with more power and with all the new exotic weapons, railguns, lasers, etc., uh, uh, to fit on them. Uh, if you'll look in my videos, you'll see a potential vessel uh, that I built out of a Burke class model. Uh, made it a little longer, a little wider, about the size of the Korean uh, KDX-3 Aegis vessel that we helped them build. And then we have our own people saying, well, you, you really can't build them bigger than we're building them. And that's simply not true. The uh, Japanese and the Koreans have built Aegis vessels, and particularly the Korean, on the Burke hull frame uh, that are bigger, uh, close to 12,000 tons, and that carry 150 missiles. So uh, as the Ticonderogas go out of class, you know, and are taken out of service, we're going to need something like that to replace it, and I'm happy that we will have these excellent frigates, well-armed frigates, uh, dangerous frigates with 16 of the naval strike missiles, which have very good range and are very accurate uh, uh, to work with. So there you have it, the first FFG-X USS Brook FFG-80. Uh, the first one should start building early next year and be in service by 23, probably launched sometime in 22. Thanks for watching and look for another uh, video to come out with this ship uh, in company with the USS Ronald Reagan and its carrier strike group. Thanks a lot.